we came for gas here at the Shell and uh, we're getting ready to go and then Greg's bike didn't start. We've been noticing that his starter has been having a bit of an issue and again it just uh, now it finally gave out and so Greg's going to open it up and see if the connection to the battery or what the deal is. found this hotel outside of Chiquimula and they have a horse racing track and they've got sort of a mini almost like petting zoo thing going on here a couple of swimming pools several restaurants and basically we just napped most of the afternoon because we were exhausted after the volcano and everything and now we're sort of emerging to walk and poop moxie not us and then to feed that Moxie? This is all because of a few squirrels. That's what's got her this morning. Well, we've all got our things. My thing is breakfast. I like breakfast. I guess in a certain sense Moxie would like breakfast too. It's just not on the approved menu. She wants a playmate. So we're gonna go to the little petting zoo that they have. It's not really a petting zoo but it's like you, there's some animals there. So we're gonna go check it out. I've got Moxie on the leash so she doesn't go and like scare all the creatures and then after that we get to go to breakfast. over there there's like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so do you think he likes these muddy conditions is that sort of a thing for them or is that i think so is this unpleasant i have to feed the feed <laughs> Snap your snout. You're so soft. <laughs> the ass is giving us his ass. I turn my back on you. Mm. I poop in your general direction. Let me tell you a little bit about the Go Roughly Around the World adventure, supporting Girl Up. It's going to be an 18 month adventure across five continents where I'll be riding my motorcycle with Moxie on the back in her K9 moto cockpit. The fundraiser is to support Girl Up, which was founded by the United Nations Foundation. And their whole goal is to do leadership and development training for girls around the world. They work in over 120 countries and they have helped over 90,000 girls. The goal is to raise $100,000 for Girl Up during this adventure. So I really hope that you'll go to goroughly.com slash world dash adventure to donate today and help us reach that $100,000 goal.
market that we were going to go to pick up stuff for tonight for a New Year's Eve dinner. Um, and we came for gas here at the Shell and uh, we we're getting ready to go and then Greg's bike didn't start. So he's here. We think it's a battery issue. It's something that like we've been noticing that his starter has been having a bit of an issue. And again, it just uh, now it finally gave out. And so Greg's going to open it up and see if the connection to the battery or what the deal is. We won't know anything until we take a look and hopefully it's just a bad connection. So he was able to find the nut. It was a nut problem. There was no nut on the battery, and so it wasn't connecting. And well, so it fell off. It loosened and it fell off. Loosened and fell off. Little by little, piece by piece. I take back what's been stolen from me Little by little, piece by piece Until I'm complete like sort of national park or this area that that has this park there's nobody else here there's this beautiful river that's running through it was a bit of a thing to get down here it was all dirt and uh here. it started to get really wavy up and down like um but i made it i didn't go down <laughs> no i have to make it up tomorrow morning so what's your thought Check and see how these cabins look, um, and if it's worth us doing that, or if it's nicer, and we just set up our tent again and camp tonight. It's New Year's Eve, and we're going to celebrate uh, in our tent camping outside of these cabanas that are here. Probably we'll be sleeping until the fireworks go off, and then we'll wake up and we will bring in the new year. But uh, for now, we are playing around in the water until the mosquitoes come out. What are we making? Veggie butter chicken. <laughs> so basically it's the butter chicken sauce, but we're we're gonna put vegetables in it instead of chicken. So I've got broccoli, mushrooms, um, potatoes, and um, a pepper. Okay, and what am I doing you'd like to know? Well, I am making a nano presto because it is that time. So our veggie butter chicken, I think is way too much food for us. That's what we've got mostly for. So we're watching uh, a movie on the laptop, uh -huh. and they're exploding fireworks about, I don't know, 100 meters from here or less. And some of these shots have been like explosive, and not just explosive and close, but it just echoes through, through this little valley here where the river runs through. It is disturbing. It's gonna be a difficult night, and it's gonna be like an extremely difficult night for Moxie again because during the Christmas fireworks, those really got her and she was shaking in the tent. Um, and this one, like it went, it scared the shit crap out of me and like Moxie as well, she got up and started barking. So I don't know what it's gonna be like as, uh, as it continues tonight at midnight. Yeah, I also hope it doesn't scare the shit crap out of her either. <laughs> <laughs>
Cuckoos finally emerged from the tent. But when she does, she definitely comes with everything sorted. You know, one of the nice things here in the morning is that you can just sort of sit by the water and have your husband pack up and have your dog laying in the shade. It's just a beautiful morning. I wouldn't mind if she was helping pack up a little bit. No, she doesn't help. But what a beautiful way to start 2022. So it is New Year's Day and we are now at an Airbnb, this really cute little cabin. It's just a little bit outside of Koban. The one issue that it has is that there is no electricity. So they purposefully did not run power to this. There's like a main house up there and this is the little cabin. Uh, so we had cold showers and there's no plugs to plug in our computers. But you know, it's it's going to be nice for tonight. Uh, there's candles, so it's going to be nice and romantic for the two of us. And uh, it's uh, going to be a nice way to, to end the trip. Okay, so today's the 2nd of January and we are heading back home today. <laughs> it was a nice, a nice evening. Um, it did suck a little bit that we didn't have power. Um, but look, we made do. We had candles on and it was, it was nice. Not having power sounds better than it is until you can't see anything and you're running into things and stubbing your toe. Yeah, and our bathroom doesn't have a door on it, so it's sort of like a love cabin in that sense. Except that is not a love thing. <laughs> Narrow streets and dusty roads I've lingered on for far too many years. I wandered down the city taking pity on myself through my fears All this place ever gave me was a boot upon my face when I was down Give me back my liberty, I'll take my first step to where I'm bound And like an apple I was soar through the air Take you with me from this place of despair bit of a thing with a local dog. Now Max is going for a little swim. Yeah, how's that water?
were so close to getting home to Panahachel and then we got caught in a 30 minute pile up here on the way down from Solola to Panahachel. One of them was a car that was stalled out and broken and obviously there's no pullouts here on this mountain road leading down. And then there's got to be something up ahead too because it's still saying that there's another 20 minute wait here. So we're just uh, engines off in neutral rolling down this hill and uh, maybe we'll be home in like half an hour. Hi guys! I hope you've enjoyed these 29 episodes of Go Roughly on Two Wheels and Four Paws. Next week, we're going to be releasing the first episode of our new series, Go Roughly Around the World. For those of you who don't know, we are doing an around the world trip starting on March 5th. It's going to be 18 months across five continents. Um, I'm going to be riding my BMW G650 GS with my 75 pound Shepherd Moxie on the back of my bike in her K9 Moto cockpit. And my husband Greg, he's coming along too and he's going to be riding his F700 GS. The goal of this trip is to raise $100,000 for the nonprofit Girl Up. Girl Up was founded by the United Nations Foundation and they provide leadership and development training for girls and now they're in over 120 countries. What I really like about this nonprofit is that they're training the next generation of change makers. This is giving the girls the skills they need to advocate for the issues that matter most to them. So it's such a worthy cause and I'm so glad that we're doing this in partnership with Girl Up. So the trip is starting on March 5th. We're going to start from Guatemala here where we're based and we're going to go north. So we'll go through Mexico, through the States, through Canada, and then get to the top of Alaska. From there, we're going to cross through Canada and then from Toronto, we'll fly over to Spain and then start going south through Africa. Uh, we'll be going down to South Africa and then back up on the east side so that we'll be in Europe for the spring of 2023 and then we'll head east uh, and then hopefully end up in Malaysia where we will ship ourselves, our bikes, and Moxie back down to Chile in South America and then go all the way up South America and then end in Guatemala. It's going to be an adventure of a lifetime and it is finally starting. On March 5th, we're going to be having a going away party here in Panahachal at the lake and we're going to be streaming it live on Facebook and Instagram. So make sure you're following us there at Go Roughly so that you can watch. We're going to be doing it from around 8 o'clock until 11 o'clock in the morning and then we're going to head out uh, and then we're starting our trip. Thank you all for following along with us on our journey. This Go Roughly Around the World adventure really is a dream for us. And I'm so glad that we're going to get to share it with you all. So don't forget to subscribe to us here on YouTube and at Go Roughly for Facebook and Instagram so you get notified of our live event of our going away party on March 5th at 8 a.m. Okay, guys, talk to you soon.